you know, and they asked me, why do bad things still happen to the, the righteous? Why do the righteous still go through things in life? And I just got to tell you this. This was even a question that Solomon himself pondered upon in Ecclesiastes 8 and 14. The things that you would think the righteous deserve, the wicked get. And the things that you would think the wicked deserve, the righteous get. But here's the thing. Bad things got to happen to everybody. If you think about it, it makes sense. Because we live in a world where bad and good is integrated. It's a balance. There's just as much good as evil. And there's just as much evil as good. But we think there's more evil in the world. And we think there's more evil in our lives. Because the human brain processes bad things longer than it processes good things. For example, let's say you just gave birth to your first child. You're going to be happy for about a few weeks. And then, you know, then it just, you get used to it. That's just real life. Now, let's say your child just died. You mentally messed up probably for the rest of your life. The human brain dwells on negative negativity, but it doesn't dwell on positivity. There's ways you can trick your mind into dwelling in the positive side of life. Simply thanking y'all for it every single day. And you will remind yourself of the positive things that you have. And what would that do in turn? That will remind you that your life is not as bad as you think. We live in a world where good and bad is integrated. So it's going to be a mixture of good things happen to you and bad things happen to you. Because if it's not integrated, you would not have anything to be happy about. Y'all wants the righteous to be happy at the end of the day. He wants his servants to be happy at the end of the day. So with that being said, if you... If, if bad things never happen to you, you'll never know how to appreciate good things. You'll be so used to it because it's been happening to you every single day. You'll be so used to it, it's not going to be no, no surprise to you. You're not going to have no reaction to it. Right? So that's why people who are born rich and born with everything, a lot of times when they get older, they have these problems. But... We live in a world where bad things have to happen. Everything in life is a season. There's a season for everything under the heaven. There's a time for everything under the heaven. But everything is a season. So what you're going through is going to phase. It's going to turn away. Whatever you're going through is going to pass away. It's going to end. Eventually, there's an ending to everything. Everything is a season, right? Nothing is permanent. Right? So nothing you're going through is permanent. It's all to build you up. Think about it. What did David say? David said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you were with me. Why didn't y'all just keep David out of the valley of the shadow of death? Y'all could have just kept David out of the valley of the shadow of death. No, y'all put David in the valley of the shadow of death so David can see that y'all will save you no matter what. So bad things is going to happen to you, but you're going to walk out without a scratch because that's just y'all showing you that no matter what, I got you. You understand? Think about this. A lion and a bear came to attack David's sheep. And what did David do? He fought both of them and killed them and protected his sheep. Now, now, why didn't y'all just keep the, why didn't y'all just keep the bear away from David's sheep? Why didn't y'all just keep the lion away from David's sheep? Because y'all wants to put you through some challenges to see you overcome, and so you can rejoice in Him. If nothing ever happens to you, and good only happens to you, you will have nothing to rejoice for. for. You will have nothing to celebrate. We would not be celebrating us leaving Egypt if we were never in Egypt. You understand? 
if nothing bad happened to you for a good thing to happen, you would not even know that good. You understand? Nobody in scripture has had a perfect life. You can't show me one person on Holy Scriptures that nothing bad ever happened to them, right? Especially people who y'all is dealing with. If y'all is dealing with you, if you if y'all is dealing with anybody in scripture, they got things they gotta go through, they got challenges that they gotta face, they got things that they gotta do that other people can't handle, right? So everybody in scripture went through something because a lot of times, well, when y'all chooses to deal with you first, before he deal with you, he got to put you through some tests to see if you really faithful. When y'all about to pick a prophet or when he about to pick a priest or he, if he about to pick a king or if he about to pick anybody or he about to pick a patriarch like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, before he did that, what did he do? Before he did that, what did he do? He put them through tests. He put them through trials. So it's important for us as, as people, we're going to go through trials at the end of the day. We're not in a segregated reality from good and evil. We are in an integrated reality. So the good and evil is mixed together. You understand? Y'all said that he will create a new heaven and a new earth. Well, that's just going to be pure good, but it's still going to be balanced because even in that world where it's a new heaven and a new earth, there's still going to be evil. There's still going to be bad things happening. Why is that? Because even when everything is peaceful, even when the lions is laying down with the sheep and eating up grass like the ox, even in that time, there's still going to be bad things happening. Why? Because the people who rebelled against Yah in the day of Yah, the day of Yah's vengeance, those people will be burning for all eternity. And that's going to be a segregated reality. So the good and evil, the yin and yang, the day and night, the, the all that is going to be balanced, but it's going to be segregated. It's going to be put away from you. So that's, that's the bad that's going to be on one side. And the good is going to be on the other side because the good is going to be where we're at. Right? But we're not going to be dealing with the bad at that time. But that's when he said he would create a new heaven and a new earth. That's not right now. Right now, we're living in an integrated reality where there's good and bad that has to happen to everybody, right? But at the end of the day, if you keep y'all's law, statutes, and commandments, it's always going to end up good. No matter what you're going through in life, the outcome is going to outweigh whatever you're going through. I'm, re I'm going to repeat that. If you keep y'all's commandments, the outcome of whatever struggle you have is going to outweigh the negativity that you might have in your mind. The positivity of the outcome that y'all is going to bless you with is going to outweigh whatever negativity you have in your mind. The blessings y'all will bless you with. Are you paying attention? The blessings y'all will bless you with will outweigh whatever curses you think you got on you right now. Hey, in the comment section below, send some positivity. I'm going to send positivity. We're going to spread this like crazy, guys. Hey, just keep on with the commandments. Never stop. Never lose trust in Yah. When you go through those, when you go through those troubling times of life, never lose trust in your father. Because at the end of the day, he's the one that's helping you through it. He's the one that's, look. Here's one thing about Yah. He's a teacher. He's the greatest teacher in all existence. You know why? Because when you was in school and you took a test, the teacher didn't help you with your test. You know what I'm saying? But y'all, even when he puts you through a test, he'll still make sure you get help. He, he'll he still make sure you, you're good. Shoot, he'll still give you some answers if you, if, you, if you call on him. He'll tell you what to do. If you really listen, he'll tell you, hey man, look at my commandments. He'll tell you, keep the faith. He'll tell you, keep the trust. He'll put that in your spirit. You understand? So at the end of the day, hey, never lose trust in Yah. No matter what people are telling you, no matter what other people are doing, if somebody's doing something to you, don't let that mess up what you got with Yah at the end of the day. Peace. Shalom. Ubarakah. Mizpakah.